Even in Canada, a major storm can throw a wrench into the best laid fishing plans. Up next, Fishhead's John Thielen must adjust his tactics when an idyllic fly-in fishing trip in northern Ontario is interrupted by a storm of biblical proportions. Got him to bite that again by just laying that bait back to him. He bit it and I missed him. And I thought, I didn't really miss him. He just spit it. You know, that's one of those things where a lot of times you think, oh geez, I got a quick reel up and check my bait. But a lot of times that's the worst thing you can do because that fish is still there. I mean, he's still looking at your bait. He knows why he was there and he knows exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to eat it and he's still there. So what you got to do a lot of times that'll get you more bites is what I did right there. Just lay back to him. Just give him a second chance to hit it and that's all I did. I just laid that bait back and that 17, 16, 17 inch walleye just decided at that point, okay, look at that. I'm getting a second shot at this and he grabbed it and we were able to get him. It's really one of those things that can make a huge difference. Just taking that minute and dropping back to him. That's a great fish to start our day. I'm gonna let that guy go because we're gonna catch plenty of fish today. but. We're up in Canada, and, and uh, man, this is some of the best fishing in the world. No matter where you go, it's hard to beat this place right here. And, and we're fishing a whole variety of tactics this week, but today we decided that we're going to go with something really aggressive. We're going to go with a bait that's going to trigger strikes for us, because what happened last night is we had some storms come through, and, and there's a couple different ways to look at how to approach that. One of the ways is slow down, do everything slower, see if, see if you can just get a fish methodically to bite. But there's a second school of thought, and I, I tend to lean toward this school of thought, and that is try to trigger a strike. Try to make a fish bite, not just on a feeding urge, but on a reaction. Because when they're in that mode behind big storms, and I'm, I'm telling you, I barely slept last night. I mean, it stormed all night long, thunder, lightning. And when they're in that mode, a lot of times what can happen is They'll just lay low, but if you go by them with something really, really aggressive, you'll make them bite it. Let's climb back in the water and let's see if we can't get some more, because you know what, that's a good start. In fact, that's a faster start than I expected behind those storms. Just pulling at it, got him. You can feel the difference in the bite this morning. These fish are just not nearly as aggressive as what they've been in the last couple days. And you know, we were, we were in here the last couple days and, and they were just going crazy. But that's what, that's what a storm will do to these fish. And there's really just not much you can do besides try to trigger strikes and fish high percentage areas. And there's, there's another fish on the graph, I'm gonna mark that. Because one of the things I'm noticing today too, I'm just not seeing big numbers of fish on the screen. And what that is, is it's because they're just laying flat on the bottom. They're negative. And when they're laying flat on the bottom like that and they're negative, the best thing you can do is fish with a bait like what I'm fishing with and just do everything in your power to trigger them. Let's see if we can get this eye in here. That's a really nice fish. Look at that. What a great walleye this one is. Let me get this guy out of the net and then I want to show you what I'm using. Because on a day like today, finding the right bait can make such a huge difference in whether you're going to catch fish or not catch fish. And what I'm using is Lindy Lil Guy. And this is a brand new inch and a half size. Let's get that guy unhooked and I'll show him to you and then we'll let him go. Then let's talk about this bait a little bit because it's just the perfect bait for a day like today. I've always wished over the years that I could have a crankbait 
and a live bait rig and tie it all into one because there's days that crankbaits are just the best thing in the world and then there's days that a slow moving lindy rig is the best thing in the world and, and I've always wanted something that can be both. Well, this is what it is right here. This is the Lindy Lil Guy. Now, the Lil Guy comes in three sizes. This is the brand new inch and a half this year. But here's what's so great about this. That body is floating. So it's perfect for the situations we're in here. When you look at fishing a rocky bottom, like what I'm fishing right here, this thing floats up just a little bit behind that bottom bouncer, and then it runs like this. But when I stop it, it actually suspends right there. It does not you know, sink down to the bottom. It'll sit there and suspend and give that fish a chance to come up and nail it. And then you can run a crawler right behind it. Here's one thing that I think is so cool about this bait. We're in Canada today. And you know, this is just a perfect bait for up here. I mean, these are aggressive fish. This is an easy bait to fish up here. Just tie in a bottom bouncer, work your way along the bottom and you'll pick them off. But here's what's great about this bait too. It's perfect for running for suspended fish. So let's say you're going out to the Great Lakes, you're going to Green Bay, you're going to Erie out of Port Clinton or wherever it may be to chase big walleyes. This is the great bait for there too. The two inch size is just awesome to run suspended for walleyes so that you've still got that live bait presentation but you've got that crankbait action. And then we got the one inch size too, which I think is ideal for your smaller lakes. You know, your areas where your bait fish are really, really small, that size can just be deadly. It comes in a whole array of colors and you, you look at where we're at today, we're in darker water, I'm using a brighter color. But that fish right there, I mean, he just nailed it, boom, we got him and, and, and it's because of the bait we're using. Cause you take a day like today, man, it's gloomy. This is just ugly, I'm not seeing a lot of fish is just not the kind of day where fish are gonna snap. So what you gotta do is you gotta use a bait like that little guy that's gonna make them bite. There's another one right there. Got him. Ooh, that feels like a real good fish too. Something happened here last night with that storm that really changed the mood of these fish and I'm not even graphing them. I didn't fish, I didn't graph this fish that I just hooked up either. And it just goes to show you how when these fish get in this mood, how things change. This fish, I actually just had to get the lift off the bottom. I mean, I guarantee you, these fish are just laying flat, just like that. They're still here, they didn't move. They slid out a little bit deeper, but they're just laying flat. So, it, you know, one of the things about the area that we talked about that we're fishing is having that deep water nearby can make such a huge difference because all I've done is slid out here and now we're contacting fish and we're contacting them on a pretty regular basis. And it's not seeing them. Well, there's one on the screen right there. Now I'm seeing one, but when you do see them, the other thing I'll do is right there, I'll mark that fish right now because I know who this is a big fish too. Because I know that I'm, I'm seeing so few of them that if you see them, man, you need to be able to get right back to them. Let me get this fish out of here. Wow, it's a big fish too. Look at that. That is a big walleye. Caught on the, the brand new medium sized little guy. Perfect bait for right now. Bright colors, action, everything it takes to get those fish to come up off the bottom when they're sitting there and they don't wanna move and you gotta find what it is to trigger them that gets them moving. Now's the time to put a bait like this down there. Now, let me tell you this. I fish these little guys day in and day out when the bite's on like crazy too, because obviously they just flat out catch fish, but about the perfect time to, to use them and get to know them is when you're whaling on fish, but don't forget to put them down on days like today, because I promise you, you know, the boats that are out here today, they're moving around. We've had to move around a little bit because the bite's just not going crazy. And now's the time you put a bait like this down there and you'll start catching them. Get out of here, big girl. Man, what a great day it's been. I think we're gonna head in, running out of, running out of good weather. I think we're just hitting that point where it's not gonna be long and we're gonna be real wet. It's getting darker and darker, but what a great day it's been out here. Get out and try some of these little guys. I don't care if you're fishing a Canadian Shield Lake, you're fishing a lake anywhere in the Midwest, they're just a deadly bait and they catch fish in so many different situations day in and day out.